So I'll just think I'll quickly mention my five top tips for a good industry standard UX portfolio. Okay, so the first tip is process. It's so important to document your process, how you did things and explain your design decisions. Don't just put the design thinking process. It's more about the activity you did during this stage and then why you did that and what was the result of it. Yeah, it's really about the thoughtfulness of the designer. So if you can show that through writing and annotations on your UI, the better. Employers are looking for how did this person think about this specific problem? Ultimately, it's how you arrived at the solution. Walk them through that journey through your process. And the second tip is include anything rough. Include your rough notes and sketches. There's a number of ways to get to the solution from the problem. So show them that through really, really rough ideations. But essentially why we do this is to show we didn't jump into the first solution. It's like a maths test. It doesn't matter if your calculation is right. It's more about the workings out. The third, documentation and UX artifacts. Don't say you did something show it. A lot of people just say they did user interviews without including any of the scripts or the findings. You really actually got to show that you did it or even if you attach it as an appendix or a downloadable file, show everything and document everything. That's the best advice. Number four, of course the obvious one, show your designs. Most of the designers just show the high fidelity mock-up because that's actually what looks good but it's important to show the process of iteration. What did it look like first? And then how did it get to the final state? That journey makes it so much more interesting for the hiring manager. Fifth and final one, some people do this too much and some people don't do it at all, which is includes something personal, right? Something about you that says, oh, this person's actually quite interesting. Apart from UX, this could be through like copywriting or just telling your own story, but make sure it's professional. Whatever it is, you need to be a little bit more personal. We go through so many UX portfolio that if you're personal, you will stand out. Actually, that was quite fun.